In a previous video, I talked about these two pumps, the Milwaukee M12 stick pump and the M18 transfer pump. And I did a test on the flow rate of the two of them. And we confirmed that the M18, as expected, will move more water, although not substantially more. Um, and I also noted in that video that I liked using the M12 pump so much more because it was so much quieter. And while you could kind of hear the pumps in the background in that video, I didn't actually do a noise comparison test. So I really want to talk about the stick pump today and a little kind of hack that I've been working on. But while I had them both out and with batteries in them, I thought it made sense to go ahead and do a little noise comparison. So I've got my, my noise meter here, uh, <laughs> noise meter, sound meter, and I'm going to flip the switch and, you know, all the, the guts of everything in the stick pump, they're down in this end. So I figure we're, you know, eight to 12 inches from the motor and the impeller. And let's just see how much noise it makes. So at eight to 12 inches from the business end of this thing, we're at what, about 55 decibels. I mean, that's, it's so quiet, right? I've heard people talk about it as like a, a fish tank pump. So that's about what that sounds like. Now we're going to compare it to the M18 transfer pump and you're going to see how loud this thing is. I don't want to do that any longer than I have to. 100 decibels and now granted when there's water flowing through this thing it does dampen the sound of the impeller a little bit and get a little bit of a higher pitch whine but it's not a whole lot quieter um and you know granted this is not a standard measuring distance i should probably be three feet away or some sort of set distance but it's just to sort of show the relative comparison between these two it's so loud so for that reason, I much prefer using the Milwaukee or the, the M12 stick pump. The problem is when you want to hook a hose up to both ends, you can't really do that with the stick pump. Um, you can see here, it does have hose threads here, male hose threads. You can hook a hose onto this. This is the output end. So if you want to you know, direct the water that you're pumping out of a reservoir or something with a hose, you can do that. But on the input end, it just has this kind of basket here. Um, and it's actually fairly large. Um, so you can't stick it down and slot a very small hole if you have to. You would need a hose for that. So what I was thinking about is how I could best adapt this to work with a hose. And this is what I came up with. So first of all, it's worth noting that all these pieces thread together, right? This aluminum you know, shaft threads uh, into the, the pump and the impeller. This here, there's a wire that runs through it. So you can't take it completely off without unsoldering it, um, but you can screw it off. And the, the bail at the end here, this actually screws off. So this is where I started and I measured this and it's roughly two and a half inches. Um, so I wanted to see if I could get a sort of um, adapter and a PVC pipe adapter. Two and a half inch didn't fit quite well, but what I figured out is that I can use one of these rubberized uh, adapters, right? So I found one of these, they're meant to use with a hose clamp. And this is a two inch to inch and a half uh, adapter. And I was able to get the two inch rubber adapter over the end of this thing. It's not easy and I'm never gonna be able to do it on camera, of course, because I'm trying. Here we go. But when you do get it on there, it fits on really tight. And then of course you can put the hose clamp on there and clamp that down. And it, it's a really, really nice fit. It fits right up against the edge of the, the threads here so you don't have to go over the threads. Um, and then in the end of this thing, there's a bushing and this is a slip, a inch and a half slip um, bushing, and it has a three quarter inch iron pipe thread interior. So I was able to put this brass male iron pipe to male hose thread uh, adapter, screw it in there, and now I have exactly what I was looking for, which is a male hose thread end. And to be able to use my hose, I use these little swivel adapters. I mean, I use these on this one as well, so I can you know, hook the, the male end of the hose thread up to the pump, right? I can do the same thing here. Thread that on, and I can thread the male end of my hose in here, and of course the female th hose I can then hook up to you know, the spigot on my rain barrel or whatever the case is. But I, I tested this. It works really, really well. It's pretty decent flow. 
It's very convenient and it's extremely quiet to the point where I cannot imagine why I would ever use this transfer pump again other than maybe it's slightly more compact because it's not the long you know, stick configuration. But I thought this was a pretty easy, fairly inexpensive hack to be able to give you the ability to run an input and output hose on this M12 stick pump. So I hope that's helpful to others and I hope I can find somebody who wants to take this M18 pump off my hands.